right, so just shot the black of all the same molds. So I'm just going to demold them real quick here. Oh shoot, I'm going to charge that. That battery's dead. This is what the black brush hog looks like um, with the we did red, gold, purple, silver, and another version of purple. So different, two different sizes of purple trying to replicate what you call this color, Van? Oh, South Africa Special? They call this the South Africa Special, so that's what we were trying to replicate. Uh, got it pretty good there. Might be just a hair dark on the black, but the glitters are really close. So we're going to demold all these and show you what they all look like. Alright. So, just got done shooting three different versions. So, we shot Black African Special first in all the different baits. Uh, this is similar to the Minute, or the, uh, what is it, the Rage Menace, I believe. Yep. Some Ned Rigs, yep. which you said you've never thrown that color in a Ned Rig before. Yeah, so. yeah, I've done it on a shaky head, so might as well try it on a Ned Rig. Got the big flipping crawl. Similar to a Kitek, a 3.8 Kitek, almost identical. A lizard. Big brush hog. Smaller flipping crawl. You'll notice a lot of my baits resemble Strike King stuff because that's because I like I like a lot of the stuff that they had, so I replicated those. Uh, 6.75 inch shaky head round worm. I also have the same worm that half the body is flat, so if you're looking for a little bit of water, more water movement. And then a baby brush hog. Big fluke with the hook slot. Big rage bug, basically. And then last but not least, a little beaver. Same same length as my bug. So depending on what kind of action I'm looking for. Then, I wanted to do something different. It's gonna be real hard to see it on film, but I shot half of the black and half of the June bug. So it's probably real hard to see in that film, but the bottom of this fluke is June bug and the top is that black African special. So if we actually had some kind of light to go behind this, you would see the difference in the dark and the light um, a little bit better, but we might get my photo box out and take a couple close-ups. Sometimes it's easier to see in the sprue as well, inside the sprue that allows it to inject. And here's the brush hog. Half that brush hog is June bug, half of it is black Af African special. I think I got enough to shoot both sides one more time. So we're going to do that real quick and then we're going to mix up some chartreuse and maybe green pumpkin uh, to give uh, Van some other stuff to take on the throw once he's able to fish again. Did you uh, pause it and restart? Yep. It? Okay. Alright. There you go. So that's about what 22 cups of plastic makes. Yeah, that's, now, it may be hard to see since those are dark baits on a dark table, but that's, that's a lot of baits. I mean, we're talking uh better than i'd say probably a good three dozen baits in each pile there at least if not yeah. more that's it's a lot of baits yep not counting the waste that you have that yeah. you can still remelt and make more baits yeah so yeah all right we're uh gonna do chartreuse and green pumpkin candy on our next two runs here so
should be getting fairly close checking these uh, the mixtures. I like where the green pumpkin's at. Yep. Still transparent enough, but once you start pulling it over and making it thicker, it's harder to see. Yep. It, so it's transparent on yep. the claws and stuff. Yep. The green pumpkin magic's fire, and then we're going to have the uh, chartreuse and pepper, basically, is what I guess what you'd call that. Uh, so I've got a separate mold that uh, we didn't introduce in the last one. Mm -hmm. So. This particular mold, I can make the claws a separate color. Mm. So I'm going to shoot that first to make sure we like our transparency on this. Uh -huh. We're trying for a less transparent claw. Yeah, and we're going to try. I want to shoot this new mold I just got. Yeah, that's a good way to test. It. Yeah, yeah. For this chartreuse, we're uh, aiming for a, you know, a, a, a thicker or less translucent uh, chartreuse. I know you guys are only watching, but this is actually, I mean, this is very interesting. It's very cool to see how this uh, this whole operation goes. It's really cool. So while those are cured, we're gonna go and shoot the green pumpkin side because we know we like that color already. Yep. We've already tested it. You can obviously tell like when it's getting full you can't yeah, put that pressure. pressure in there. Yeah. Yeah. You just want to hold it for a second or so after that. Just push it in here out the bottom. They have little vent chambers. Mm -hmm. So just in case we didn't get all of the uh, uh, talk about the Kansas uh, Youth Bass Nation a while ago, you've uh, got the upcoming state finals, and that's at Bone Creek in about two weeks. The new season starts shortly after that, the last weekend of September, which I think is 26th and 27th, or 27th, 28th, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, it is going to be at Perry Lake. Yeah. The following weekend, we're at Melbourne for week two of the season, and then we're 
done until winter, yeah. unless there's a cancellation. Yeah. If there's a cancellation, we are unfortunately forced with a date, November 14th, so we'll probably have to go way south down to like Oklahoma, Grand Lakes, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Just because the temps here probably get, get a little too cold for teenagers to be out on the water. Yeah. But down there, since it stays a little more moderate, a little bit more longer, you could, uh, you know, do Grand Lake or something like that. So hopefully we don't have to reschedule, but if we do, at least we get to go to a, uh, a bigger southern lake, Grand Lake, take a walk, something like that. And then have you guys already uh, got the spring schedule, or is that going to... We do not. We're waiting for... So uh, Bassmaster Open does two or three, or three or four high school junior championships open. They call them opens. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't want to schedule on their weekends, so if our kids want to go opportunities to go fish big yep. lakes, they can. And then um, the other deal is, uh, even though FLW is a competitor to Bassmaster, and I, I schedule for Bassmaster, mm -hmm. I also keep in the interest of our kids being able to have as much possibilities of yeah. fishing as possible. So they also do a couple opens as well for the kids. Yep. And so I'm waiting for both of those schedules to come out. It usually goes elites and uh, elites, then opens, and then the kids. So yep. once they release their schedule, I'll release our spring schedule. Mm -hmm. And then we also got to work around the Kansas adults too, because they're most yeah. of our boat captains. Yep, because so. uh, there there's several pretty pretty good solid circuits around here for adults that uh, yeah, I mean just sheer numbers of schedules you have to keep in mind when you're setting a schedule. So. Here's our test run of the chartreuse. Let me know yeah. if you think that needs to be more. Do you think it needs to be less trans? I mean, more trans, less transparent. Add more chartreuse because you can still see through it pretty good. Yeah, maybe a little more then. This yeah. would be your. This would be an example of a thicker body. Yeah. So a little bit more chartreuse, probably. Just a, yeah, a little bit more maybe. Okay. So fan, fans' yeah. request was to try to find a chartreuse bait. Yeah. That was uh, not so transparent. Yeah. I mean, uh, the really transparent chartreuse, great for, you know, the clear water and stuff, but uh, a lot of guys around here know we we fish a lot of uh, lakes that are clear, but we also fish a lot that are stained, even muddy, so, uh, Welcome again. We, you know, want to try and cover all bases. So this is just the pictures for that mold, so I'm going to lay it out here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do a green pumpkin chartreuse picture. There we go. Uh, I don't need this anymore. That was just for fun. Yeah. So now we'll see. Uh, we got the green pumpkin magic should be set up. We're fairly close set up by now. Yeah, we'll good. check it out. Each one of these molds are anywhere from 100 to 300 bucks, so yep. they are aluminum, yep. and you don't want them to get dropped on the concrete, because I've already ruined one mold. Let's see what this green pumpkin magic turned out like. I'll go ahead and let Van hold this up to the camera. All right, we're back. We're going chartreuse this time, chartreuse Straight pepper. Chartreuse and pepper. I went three different size flakes on the pepper too. I went with a mm -hmm. .015, .035, and I also have what they call string glitter. Yeah, which I think, I mean, that's gonna, that'll really make that chartreuse pop, having them three different sizes and even, you know, having that one that's a different shape even. That'll make it pop. No, like that's what I was saying. Like Drew, especially when I was uh, throwing that French pearl uh, jerk bait a lot, he goes, he goes, you don't even know how many orders I've got from that. <laughs> and then with you know Clayton with the bladed jigs, like the, oh, yeah. uh, especially the golden shiner and the code blue. You have to figure out how much the packaging would cost. Yeah. For average Joe's. Yeah. I mean, I've got all the uh, graphics and the, or, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, for the logos and all that. I own all that. I technically haven't even launched, launched the bait business yet. I created Temptation Tackle, but yeah. I haven't even launched it. Um, I want, what I want to do this winter, that's another thing, before I launch, I want a backlog. Yeah. 
I mean, not a backlog, an inventory. Yeah. So I'm never backlogged. Yep. And I only want to offer certain colors. Yeah. So if I offer green pumpkin and three or four different variations, you know, black and blue. Yep. Bruiser Flash seems to be really popular with people around here, so I'll probably do like a black and blue Bruiser Flash version. Yeah. All it, all it is is uh, got silver glitter, glitter in it. So and just black and blue. And that way, if anybody wanted anything above and beyond that, then that's custom. You know, yeah, custom. but I don't want people to be waiting. If you're ordering <clears throat> yeah. green pumpkin, you shouldn't have yeah. to wait for me a week to ship it. Yeah. Because, you know, everybody's going to throw green pumpkin. Everybody's going to throw black and blue, you know. But yeah, I want to I want to get, I'm going to pay for it. This, this is actually going to be my bait shop. Yeah. Bait and boat, that's it. Yeah. The house is supposed to be done by January or February. Right oh, now, okay. Right yeah. now, they have it as flagged off, but... Ah. Uh, because for, for you guys that didn't know, uh, Travis has actually moved into the outer realms. <laughs> He's clear down here in Lynn Valley Lakes, which is very close to not only the Lynn Valley Lakes, several good little lakes here to fish, but then pretty much across the street is, everybody knows in this area is Lacine, the power plant lake. But, uh, That's why I did it. I but there's, to fish in the wintertime like Clayton Rescue. Yeah, but there's also so many other good lakes down here in this area from little state lakes all the way up to other bigger lakes and then uh, so he's uh, just moved down here not too long ago he's uh, building his own house um, he's obviously got you guys can't see it in the video we might pan around but he's got a pretty big shop so this is going to become his uh, just shop and boat storage just like he said once my house stuff is out of here it's all on shelves right now yep it's in that in-between process. God, it's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying not to be able to organize your shop. Yeah. Heck, we'll come back down here another time when you actually do get uh, fully moved in and have everything set up, and and he'll have this to where it's going to be a uh, just a literally a bait making assembly line. <laughs> Cool. And that's I when you call set. in the buddies and do a bait making party. Yep. <laughs> I want to have another set of air clamps. Yep. So that way these molds are cooling while these are getting demolded. Yep. Somebody down here making. Yep. I'll probably eventually have a whole assembly yep. line. I really will. Yep. And like I said, you call in your buddies and say, hey, you know, let's all get together and pour a bunch of baits, get them put in packaging, stuff like that. Package is probably the worst part of it. Yep. I enjoy the bait making process. Yep. I do not enjoy yep. the package. Oh, uh, getting the counts right and getting them put Just in the package in the right. Yep. To where they're set in there and not doubled over mm -hmm. or pinched off when you close the ziplock. You know, that kind of stuff. I understand that. Well, we'll wait for these to cure. All right. We'll wait for a few minutes. Here we go. Here's the strictly chartreuse and pepper. Chartreuse and pepper. So if you look closely, there's three different versions of black flake in there, mm -hmm. the string, the big square, and then the small square to give it a real inconsistent yeah. pepper look. And, and notice that it almost looks darker because it's less translucent, you know, mm -hmm. more for that uh, muddier stained water instead of clear water. Which is what you were wanting. Yep. So we'll demold, demold all these real quick and uh, we'll shoot a, uh, a laminate of the same, same one. Yep. It'll be done. Yeah, so now we're doing the uh, chartreuse and green pumpkin magic laminate. And then he also, and we just missed it because I was talking, not paying attention. But uh, he showed me how you can not only just do the laminate, but even like a swirl type of laminate. So. When we start busting these molds apart, this would be pretty cool to see this. Yeah, I just did one swirl just to show you. Yep. Hopefully it turned out all right, because I only did one. Yep. But the, uh, you know, a lot of people know that a, uh, a chartreuse and green pumpkin laminate is, a, you know, it's fire. It's, it's good stuff. It's a staple in the community. Yep. So we got a few minutes. Uh, we'll let that uh, cure up, and then we'll, uh, when we break those molds apart and stuff, we'll, we'll time back in again. Pumpkin chartreuse laminate, you can see it go down the sprue. Yep. Does the same thing on the bait. Yep. Green pumpkin one side, chartreuse on the other. It's a real nice looking bait. Yep. So, 
get all those uh, broke down and then uh, let them cool and set a little bit and then we'll uh, oh. bag them up. This is the one where oh. I did the different claws. Yeah. So I got a new mold where I can just shoot the claws. Yep. So this one is green pumpkin chartreuse body, yep. but strictly chartreuse claws. Yep. So that turned out pretty cool. I've Heck never yeah. shot it like that, but that's neat. Yep. New molds. So that way, you know, you don't necessarily even have to do a laminate. You can do the body all in one color and the, and the pinchers in another. Yep. Or you can do four colors. Yeah. You can do two different color pinchers and two different color bodies. Yep. And so the possibilities are endless. Limitless. Whichever. If you do want to get into this, though, there's a really good channel. Uh, world's Worst Fishing. World's what? World's Worst Fishing on YouTube. Ah. He's got 50 or 60,000 followers. Wow. And that's how I learned. Because yeah. I just watched his videos. Yeah. So and he doesn't even have this fancy equipment. He just has the, uh, he just does old school, what well, he might now. With the Pyrex and he stuff. He just has old school Pyrex cups that teach us how to make different colors. Yeah. I've definitely learned a lot today between stopping by uh, Dale Silva's, you know, with the GMO custom rods, and then now this. It's been a very educational and a fun educational day. You know, not just educational, but this is actually pretty cool. Chartreuse and uh, Green Pumpkin Magic Laminate and the Shaky Head. And then these are the uh, Baby Brush Hogs or Brush Hog Juniors, I guess. The Baby Brush Hogs are even smaller than that, even. That's the Flukes. Rage Menace style. And then Ned Rigs. We know how fire that's going to be as a Ned Rig. I probably should have chose a different bait to swirl instead of a Kai Tech. Yeah. And here's the one that swirled. So you can see it kind of just yeah. swirls through there. Those are the, the big brush hogs, the full size ones. Chartreuse, green pumpkin magic, lamin. Alright, so uh, for shooting baits, I think that's the, all the colors we've done today. Last but not least is that lizard. lizard. Green pumpkin chartreuse lizard. Yep. Hi. So, Hi. We'll doing? finish these off. I yep. uh, just wanted to say, if you're interested in youth fishing, please go to kansasyouthbass.com or yes. message me at kansasyouthbass.gmail.com. Yep. Travis is the uh, director for that for the whole state and does a lot of work with these young anglers, getting them going. And, uh, you know, a lot of these guys, are, they're even going to go on into college, and then they'll even probably, uh, quite a few of them will even go into full-time pro careers even so you know that's uh it's a good thing because even even ones that don't go pro it's it's still going to keep fishing going because it's going to be part of their life even if they aren't a, a, a full-time touring pro and then of course at some point they're going to have kids and then they're going to be able to teach their kids how to to fish and just and keep fishing going keeping it strong Average Joe's. Yeah, to me it's all about keeping kids off the uh, street. Yep. Which is what the 5S stands for. Right? Yep, yep. Doing things that are good, positive things, and, 
you know, and, and passing on that legacy to the next generation. guys that like the uh, you know green pumpkin candy color got some green some purple some red some black in there and I mean that's just uh, that's a staple color around here you can throw that in clear water or dirty water either way it's always just such a good color around these parts Baby crawl, and then bigger crawl version. So the uh, great for Texas rigging and great for jig trailers. Both. He's a like baby bush log on the big one. It's just been sitting there. Baby brush hog. And I hope I got all those in the picture there. Got like a shaky head finesse worm. There you go. That's the big, uh, the big fluke there. You can tell it's even got the gap in it for putting the hook, just like a regular zoom fluke would have. And then, of course, the Ned Rig baits. Those are gonna, both going to be fire. Swing impacts. Great, uh, great trailers for bladed jigs and stuff like that. Even underspins. And of course, we've got the uh, big brush hogs, which are, like I said, these are staples in these parts, anyways. Got the lizards, green pumpkin. That's it for the green pumpkin. Now we're going to shoot chartreuse. And then we're going to do a laminate chartreuse green pumpkin mix. That'll be pretty sick. That's actually one of my favorite colors. Yep. Yep. 